Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host. So uh, today our plan is to share with you, uh, we have no special guest, you're just stuck with me today, talking about what's planned for version 9.3. We're not going to be taking a look at anything live today, but kind of doing an overview of the uh, what's new uh, in 9.3 section as it's currently planned. The first uh, partner level release of 9.3 is available. And in the weeks ahead, I hope to start showing you some live demonstrations of some of the new features, additions, and uh, fixes that have been made in this latest version of SAP Business One. So now we'll take a look at something. What's planned for version 9.3? And these things are already visible in the pre-release version. So I just need to get it installed as soon as I can get a quality zip file, start practicing a bit. And in the weeks ahead, I'll start showing you some live things about it. But for now, I want to just uh, take you to uh, this PowerPoint demonstration of all about what's coming in 9.3 and see if we can't uh, together just talk about some of these new features, right? So I'll skip the early part and we'll talk about administration, what's been added. So there's going to be an authorization, another uh, simplification to authorizations. So we will have the authorization groups that were introduced recently. It'll be renamed to user groups and relocated under setup general. Uh, and there'll be, you know, three categories, authorizations, uh, which is, uh, you know, user author authentications um, that with valid dates, individuals within the user group can have further redefined or refined val validity dates, uh, form settings, which will be common to all these users in the group, and Across all types applies to all types. You'll be able to copy form settings. Um, it, right now it has a groups tab and all users in the chosen group will inherit the form settings of being in that group. So much easier to manage, you know, both authorizations and form settings and things like that. Uh, you'll also be able to manage temporary authorizations and quickly apply form setting defaults to a group of users. So for those of you that have large numbers of licenses, uh, this will be another big plus and really help in the management of licenses. 